In this video, I'll go through the steps of expanding the storage pool capacity of my Synology NAS by replacing the hard drives. In my last video, I had a 4TB drive that failed in my DS718 Plus, and I replaced the drive with an 8TB drive. I did that because I wanted to expand the storage pool by also replacing the remaining 4TB drive still in the NAS, which I'll be doing in this video. I'm also now getting warnings that the storage pool is running low on space, and by replacing this drive, I should be able to resolve that issue as well. To begin, Synology recommends running a data scrub on the storage pool you want to expand from Storage Manager to make sure it is healthy. I did this a few days ago, and in my case, the scrub started and finished successfully, taking approximately four hours to complete. With the scrub complete, I began the process of replacing the 4TB drive by launching Storage Manager and selecting Storage. Under Drive Info, we see that the drive that needs to be replaced is Drive 2, which is the 4TB drive. Next, I went to HDD, SSD, selected Drive 2, and clicked on Locate Drive. This allowed me to confirm which drive bay the drive was in, indicated by the drive bay light changing from green to amber for a minute. With the 4TB drive location confirmed and Drive 2 selected, I clicked on the Action menu and chose Deactivate Drive. After confirming that I wanted to deactivate it, the storage pool went into a degraded state, which activated the beep alert on the NAS. To stop the beeping, I opened Control Panel, Hardware and Power, and clicked on the Mute button. I then replaced the 4TB drive with the second 8TB drive I had on hand. As I mentioned in the previous video, my DS718 Plus supports hot swapping drives, so I didn't need to power off the NAS before replacing the drive. You may need to power off your NAS before replacing a drive and then power it back on, so make sure to confirm the proper procedure for your specific model before proceeding. With the new drive showing up properly in Storage Manager, I selected Storage, then clicked on the three-dot menu and chose Repair. In the Repair window, I selected Drive 2, the new drive I just added, and clicked Next. From there, I was asked if I wanted to expand the capacity of the existing volume. That's exactly what I wanted to do, so I checked the box, clicked Next, confirmed the settings, and then clicked Apply. One thing to note here is that the fast repair process wasn't possible because the storage usage had already exceeded 80%. In hindsight, it would have been better to clear up some space before starting the process. In any case, the repair started, and after the drive was initialized, the system health changed from critical to warning, where it remained for the rest of the repair process. Once the repair completed, the system health changed back to healthy. If I bring up Storage Manager again, you'll see that the storage pool capacity is now up to 7.3 terabytes, giving me plenty of free space moving forward. For reference, the repair process took approximately 5 hours to complete. Hopefully this video helped you expand the storage capacity of your Synology NAS by replacing your hard drives. If it did, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Also check out my previous video where I replaced the failing drive and installed the first 8TB drive in my DS718 Plus. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a project, you can contact me by checking out the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.